The Optifine vs. Sodium battle has been ongoing for about two years now. While Optifine has been around since the beginning, Sodium showed up as a new competitor around the release of Minecraft 1.16. And while the general consensus was that Sodium produces better frame rates and Optifine offers more customization, 1.17 did actually change the game quite a lot. It took weeks upon weeks for the developers to update both mods to that version, and the frame rate was reduced anyway for most players in that update too. But now that we have 1.18 and 1.19 upon us, I think it's time to revisit both mods and do a fair comparison between them. To balance out the results, I'll be running the same tests on a low spec laptop and a higher spec desktop. I'll be using Minecraft 1.19.1 for this comparison because Optifine hasn't updated, but you can still apply this test to 1.19.2 because they're basically identical. This video won't include any vanilla benchmarks either because these tests are just supposed to show which mod provides the most raw performance. Alright, let's begin with the world load benchmark. With the previously mentioned video settings, this test will time how long it takes to get from the world list to a fully generated view of Chunks. And while we're waiting, I think I should get a few things out of the way. The results in this video are completely subjective. You likely don't have the same hardware configurations that I do, which means that these results shouldn't be taken as numbers that you should expect to see. Rather, you should use this comparison to estimate how much faster another mod is by percentage. If one mod is consistently beating the other mod in these tests, then it's pretty safe to say that that's the faster one and you should use it. But no matter your choice, you will be making compromises. There is no perfect Minecraft mod, so don't expect unthinkably better numbers when you pick a mod with higher benchmark scores. Anyway, the world load test shows that Optifine fully loaded the world in about 20 seconds and Sodium only took about 3 seconds more. Again, these results are subjective and you're unlikely to receive these exact numbers on your own unique world. Speeding up the test a little bit shows that on the laptop these results are extrapolated out to show a much higher discrepancy. In this case, Sodium took a lot longer than Optifine to load the world. This is an extreme case though as you're not going to be running a 24 chunk render distance on a laptop like mine, and if you have a good enough PC you're probably in the clear. Now for the FPS benchmark. In the same conditions, this is the frame rate that I got in the test. Sodium was outperforming Optifine on both machines. This was what I predicted, but I didn't think about how far the gap could actually be. But on the laptop, the frame rates were comparable. Optifine couldn't get more than 25 FPS on my main desktop PC, which really shocked me because it's never been that bad. Although I had a suspicion, and a certain video setting might have been causing the issue, so I checked. The setting is called Render Regions, and sure enough, it fixed the frame rate. I don't know what led my mind to immediately change this setting specifically, but the important thing to note is that Sodium still outperformed it. So on my main PC, likely because I have a discrete graphics card, Sodium outperformed it. But on the laptop, the frame rates were still comparable. And last up is the FPS stress test. In a benchmarking world that will be linked below, I compared the frame rates. As usual, Optifine performed worse than Sodium on the desktop, and the laptop's results were pretty unique. Optifine was performing better, but both mods had pretty inconsistent frame rates. The render distance was set to 10 this time, and I would pause the game for 10 seconds upon the world loading to let chunks load. So that's the stress test, and that's going to conclude this overall test. Take these results how you will and choose your mod set wisely. Sodium is meant to be used with its related mods named Lithium and Phosphor, which can and likely will speed up your game in all of the tests performed today, and Optifine settings can be changed to increase performance as well. For my mod recommendations, check out my Minecraft 1.19 mod guide where I review and show off all of the best mods to use for optimal performance and quality of life. Let me know if you want me to do more tests, and thanks for watching.